Uh, okay. Yeah, just regular water. Yeah, regular water is what I need to have. Yeah. Okay, and you go for regular water to keep fit? Oh, um, yes, I do, but I'm overweight and I'm getting old now, so it's rather, rather difficult. I've got bad arthritis in my knees. Um, take easy, my yeah. Okay, I've got my Bible here, although in future it's always best to text me in advance and just let me know we're going to call. But that's okay, George. Okay. Yeah, you there, George? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. You, got, you got your Bible, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, so as I said to you, sometimes the answers we're looking for are very simple and right in front of us. So we're going to revisit Luke 4 again. Yep. And, uh, and just to reiterate, we fully agree with you in all what you said about spiritual kingdoms and so forth. You know? Um, but let's just, just, just take the verse on its own merit and look at it again. Temptation of Christ, Luke chapter 4, we take it from verse 5 again. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe I can get you to read it again. I hope you, you, read it, don't mind me you, you read it and make your point. I, I hope, I hope, one minute, I hope when I ask you to pause, I hope you don't mind me pausing you at an appropriate point. Since no, you, you, you read it, you read it, right? you make your point. But I, I'd just like you to read it. No, you read it, you make your point. It will help. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Luke 4, verse 5. So he brought him up to and showed him all the kingdoms of the inhabited earth in an instant. All the kingdoms of the world. There's the King James Version. Yeah? Yeah. Not one, not two, but all the kingdoms of the world. So in, in, in many other translations, too, yes? We agree so far? Yeah, yeah. He, he shows him so the far? kingdoms of the world, but he doesn't give him or offer him the kingdoms of the world. No, no, no. no he no. offers him the glory we're, we're and the authority, we're break, not we're the break, kingdoms. We're, break, <laughs> we're breaking down as we go. So, and the bit that we can agree on, um, we're just talking about. So he showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and their authority. And he said unto him, All this power I will give thee and the glory of them, for it has been delivered unto me, and to whomever I will, I give it. Kingdom So, how do you understand that? Hello. Hello. Yeah. I, if you make your point, George. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm listening. I, I'm getting feedback from you. I'm saying, how how do you understand it when he said, "All this power I will give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomever I will, I will give it." Yeah, he's not offering him the the buildings, the stones, the road, the gold. He's offering him he his offering kingdom, him? which is his people. That's why he, there's a reference there to the authority and to the glory. It's the people who are under Satan's control. Satan doesn't own this earth. Jehovah owns this earth. Earth. Okay. Psalm 24 All 1 right. says the earth is Jehovah's. So Satan's kingdom that he's showing him would be the people who are in rebellion to God. But remember at Colossians um, chapter right. 2, uh, Satan's kingdom was, was broken, it was defeated when Christ rose from the grave. Do you mind if I read Colossians 2, 14 and 15? Well, let's just stay with this one for a moment because what we don't want to do is dance all over the place and get ourselves um, tied up in life. Okay, so, okay, but it is related because it shows that, the, that, the, that what Jesus was offered in Luke chapter 4 was broken 
by Christ's resurrection from the grave, according to Colossians 2, 14 and 15. But okay. Okay. about all the glory of these kingdoms what does that mean to you then um it's the people it's the people who are in rebellion to god and many of those people the glory, have... the glory of them i'm saying what does it mean by the glory of them well the power and the a lot of those people exercised political power and but that that power was broken according to colossians 2 14 and 15 when christ rose from the grave but Satan's kingdom that he's offering. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I interrupted you. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm sure. Did you say you have um, you studied theology in the past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're obviously quite familiar with the Bible. So when I talk this to you now, you, you will not be unfamiliar with it. Throughout the Bible, for example, in the book of Daniel, it talks about God setting the government that will replace all these other governments. And it itself will start having a different. Now, that, that coincides with... You, you, you must quote, if you're going to quote the Bible to me, you must quote the reference. That's Daniel 2.44. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you, you, you must do that. Yeah. It's a habit you must adopt. Otherwise... It, it makes discussion very, 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 very difficult. That kingdom, you're right. Yeah, that 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 verse, Daniel two forty four, is explained in the next verse, Daniel two forty five. So there's these kingdoms. This kingdom's going to be destroyed, and it's going to be destroyed by this new kingdom that's going to come. And verse forty five says, in as, in as much as you saw, the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it broke in pieces the iron the bronze the clay the silver the gold the great god has made known to the king what will come to pass after this the dream is certain and the interpretation is true now the stone referred to in daniel 2 44 to 45 is christ so whatever kingdom satan had in matthew 3 and luke sorry matthew 4 and luke 4 Whatever kingdom Satan had has been broken. It's been destroyed by the stone, by Christ, by Christ's resurrection from the dead. It alludes to Colossians 2, 14 and 15, which I will read. Having wiped out the handwritings of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it some bible versions say in him in christ so through christ's death burial and resurrection satan was defeated so even if i'm wrong about my interpretation of luke 4 and matthew 4 and satan's kingdom whatever kingdom satan had was smashed and defeated when christ rose from the grave that's why christianity is not satan centric it's not a religion where we focus on satan 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 we focus on Christ, who's defeated Satan, and defeated Satan's kingdom through right, his correct. death, burial, and, and resurrection. Where, good, and I think that's where you and I agree about the spiritual kingdom. That's very much talking about the spiritual kingdom that uh, Satan has and the one that Jesus now established. Certainly the spiritual kingdom of Christ would triumph over Satan's kingdom. No, 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 I didn't say that. I, no, no, I did not say that. I did not say Satan's kingdom will triumph. I said Jesus has. No, you did say, you used a future tense. You said that Jesus will triumph over Satan's kingdom. Satan was defeated. Jesus did triumph over Satan's kingdom at his resurrection. Whatever kingdom Satan had was smashed and defeated when Christ rose from the grave, according to Colossians 2, 14 and 15, plus other verses, George. And, 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 and that's a fulfillment, and that's a fulfillment of Daniel 2.45, which is the verse after the verse that you quoted. You quoted Daniel 2.44. Well, Daniel 2.45 says the stone cut out of the mountain is going to smash that kingdom, smash all those kingdoms to pieces. And that's, that's Christ. That, that's why... Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just sticking to this that we know we agree on. So one thing I know we agreed on is that Satan still controls the minds of the unbelievers and that there, are still, there is still a world of people 
alienated from God, who is not of Christ, that still exists today. We, we, I think we can both agree on that. True? Okay. So, to that degree then, to the extent that Satan still controls the minds of the unbelievers, even down to today, to that extent he still has the kingdom. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Satan's, Satan's so, kingdom and Christ's well, kingdom well, well, are, are rivals today. Well, exactly. So yeah. the spiritual kingdom still continues. Now, obviously, a kingdom has to have subjects and people of whom to rule. And the people of whom Satan rules are the people who are, who are alienated from God. And the world is still full of them. Now, when I say speak of smashing Satan in the future tense, it is with reference to a time when there will no longer be anyone under Satan's influence on this planet Earth at all, when that will be completely removed, leaving only a world full of people subject to God's kingdom. That's what I'm referring to in the future tense. Yes, of course. That that will be after Armageddon, of course. In in the Correct. in the eternal so, state. And it says in Revelation five ten, they shall reign upon the earth. So they shall reign with Christ upon upon the earth, of course. Correct. But, and, and that is why Jesus could, could say what he said in in, in fact when you look at Luke there and he talks about all these kingdoms that would get to be there's a cross reference there. Sorry, where? Where? Referred, where? Um, well, I'm, I'm about to find it for you. Sorry, sorry yes, give sir. me the verse you're talking about. I don't know which verse you're talking about, George, yes. sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm doing that for you now. One second, I'm just... I'm sorry yes. if you can hear some banging. Somebody's cleaning the stairs outside, so that's why you can hear yes, banging. No, 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 no. One second. My internet is a bit slow. One second. Yeah. My memory is telling me John chapter 12. John chapter 12, yep. Yeah. And again, it's a verse we're both familiar with. But that's why I'm using all the ones I know we can agree on. Um, yeah, John chapter 12, verse 31. John chapter 12, verse 31. Oh. Now is the judgment of this world. Yes. Now is the ruler of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. Good. Now, again, I'm using this brief reference because I know we're both familiar with it, so it doesn't require too much explanation. Is that the Bible does refer to Satan as the ruler of the world. Now, we're both we're agreed on it anyway, so I'm not making any point. Well, so, ruler, of the world is to... ruler of the world is an idiomatic phrase. It's, it's talking about Satan as the false ruler of the world. The false, he, the, he's not called the king of this world, he's called the prince of this world. Because princes can't rule. It's only a king or a queen who can rule. A prince has no authority to rule. Satan's called the prince of this world. Um, the context for verse 31 is clearly seen from verse 32. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. This he said, verse 33, signifying by, by what, what death he would die. So it's a clear reference to Christ's death, burial and resurrection. He died on the tree. He resurrected the third day. And this is how Satan, the ruler of the world, is going to be cast out. It's a, it's a parallel to Colossians 2. 14 and 15 it's through christ's resurrection that satan is defeated i don't need to have a theology that's satan centric i don't need to you know get up in the morning and i'm worried that satan's under my bed and i pour the cornflakes out and satan could be in the cornflake packet i'm walking down the road and there's trees along the road uh, so i'm worried satan might be behind the trees or maybe his demons are behind the tree trying to jump out and grab me i don't need to focus on satan Christianity is focused on Christ and Christ's we, victory we, we, we over Satan. We need, we need to acknowledge that Jesus himself did and the apostles did. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you, George, I'm sorry. So I'm saying we, we don't need to focus on Satan, that's true, but we need to be aware, as the scriptures make us quite aware, what will the rule of this world is. No, no, the, 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 verse, the verse you've just read, uh, Satan sorry, is not the ruler of the world. John twelve thirty one says Satan is not the ruler of this world. Look, if you if you read the context, let's let's read the context from verse thirty to thirty three. 
And notice, as I read this, the context is that Satan is going to be defeated by Christ's death, burial and resurrection. It's the resurrection that defeats Christ, uh, that defeats Satan. Um, 30, verse 30, John 12, 30. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come because of me, but for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. Now is the ruler of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up, reference to the resurrection, from the earth, will draw all people to myself. That's the, the gospel message growing up throughout the world. This he said, signifying by what death he would die. So it's through the resurrection that Satan is defeated. Satan's a defeated foe. Satan's not the victor when Jesus died and was resurrected back to dead, back, back, to, back to life. Sa Satan was defeated by Christ's death, burial and resurrection. But yes, he's not, he's not yet destroyed, is he, Satan? No, no, no. He's, he, he, he still has his kingdom and that kingdom exactly is going to... Pardon? Exactly my point. He still has his kingdom. He's yeah, still he still has his, he still has, has his kingdom. But uh, Satan was defeated yeah. by Christ's death, burial and resurrection. When Christ died on the tree and he rose again the third day, yeah, he defeated not... Satan. Satan's a defeated foe. Correct. Uh, we, we, we both agreed on that, uh, um, Robert. You know, we both agreed on that. He was defeated in the spiritual sense because he tried to conquer Christ, but he failed. Nevertheless, first thinking for um, tells us that he's still... It's very hard to hear you, George. And... It's very hard to hear you. Are you on a mobile or on a, a landline or what? I'm, a, I'm on a mobile, yes. You're on a land, land, landline? No, I'm on a mobile. Only on mobile, okay. All right, okay. So, yes, what I'm saying is, he was defeated spiritually by Christ. He failed to conquer Christ, so we both agreed on that. No, but sorry, is, sorry, you need to say that again. I, I couldn't quite hear what you're saying. And then you said, we both agree on that. And I don't know what you're assuming I, I agree on. You told me that Christ defeated him. I'm yeah. saying we both yeah. agree on that. Yeah, so we don't need to focus on Satan. He's, but, a, he's a defeated foe. He still exists. Now, he still but, has his kingdom. Well, I'm saying to you now, Robert, um, the scriptures want us to still be aware so that we can defend ourselves against his machination, that he is still trying to blind the minds of people, even the chosen ones that he's trying to mislead. So we need to be aware of his machination but, and, and not be fooled by him the way he tries always to fool God's followers. So he's still very much actively trying to set up a pseudo kingdom Oppose the Almighty God. That we must be aware of. No, it says in verse thirty-one. It says in verse thirty-one, the verse you quoted. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. Satan's power was broken by Christ's resurrection. In the Christian faith, we focus on Christ and His victory over sin, death, and over the devil, who is a defeated foe. Yes, Satan has his kingdom. Yes, Satan's kingdom is going to become very strong in the next few years. There will be an Armageddon when Satan is finally and completely defeated. So Satan is like a sort of um, bulldog, a vicious dog on a chain. He's chained up. He can, he, he can make a lot of noise, uh, but he's chained up. He can only go so far. He, 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 he can't run anywhere and do anything. He's like a dog that's can I, chained. Can I stop you there for a minute, Robert? Yeah. Can I stop you there yeah. for a minute, Robert? We, again, we, we, we can agree on this point here, that when Armageddon comes, at that point, he'll be caught and chained up and thrown into the abyss. But Armageddon hasn't come yet. Well, I disagree with your interpretation of Revelation 20, verse 1 and 2, but... Well, no, it's, no you, you, you yourself just, just, just said what I'm saying, that when Armageddon comes, when Armageddon comes, he will be caught by Christ, conquered and chained up. No, in no, no, no. Satan do we not, was... Do we, do we not, do we not agree on that? S Satan was defeated by Christ at his resurrection. No, that we agree on. On a spiritual okay. level, he was. Okay. But what we're saying is he continues to blind the minds of the unbelievers. But when Armageddon comes, is that future? Is that future when Armageddon comes? Robert? Yeah, you make your point, yeah. I'm asking you, is, is 
Armageddon in the future or not? Uh, well, I think it probably is. Good. So it hasn't come yet. So when it comes at that time, Revelation tells us he'd be conquered and he'd be imprisoned and thrown into the abyss, and where the keys would be thrown away for a thousand years. That is still future. So until then, First Corinthians four verse four says he continues to blind the minds of the unbelievers. He still continues to exercise influence over the unbelievers. So the answer is very simple. You have lost against Christ in the spiritual battle, but the physical battle is still waiting for Armageddon. And that's what we're saying. That's all we're saying um, in a simple way. I don't think this is really relevant. Your literature says all governments belong to Satan. That's in What Can the Bible Teach Us, page 33, which kind of puzzled me. Well, 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 well I'm just going to say this much. Uh, oh, you don't need an answer from me. The Bible is enough for you. And all I would say is this, that for, for you and I as uh, truth seekers, we won't make the rules. We won't be the ones to call the shots. Almighty God himself will be the one to decide who he considers to be um, under Satan's control. So when the time comes, he will be the one to take action against whomever he chooses to take action against. Uh, one, one thing we also know is that Christ had opportunity to take political office in his time. And he refused on many occasions. He withdrew when they wanted to make him king. He even went as far as saying to Pilate, my kingdom is no part of this world. Um, this, is not, this is not, George, this is not relevant. Your, your literature says that Britain and America are of the devil. Now, a book that I saw on JW.org, The Nations Shall Know That I Am Jehovah, How?, on page 363, and by the way, that was published 50 years ago in 1971, it says that Britain and America are the false prophet who get their authority from the devil. Like I just said to you, Ian, um, sorry, uh, Robert, My, you don't need any further explanation from me apart from what we read in the scripture. It's very clear what the Bible says. Well, sorry, I don't uh, know what you're talking about. What, what, do you, what do you mean? It's very clear. You're very, you're very clear. Um, by the way, can I ask you a question, um, Robert? You, you have uh, done a bit of search on, 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 on yourself. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you, do you own a Christian channel? Do you do some broadcasting on a Christian channel? Sorry, can you say that again? Do you run a Christian TV channel? I don't have a Christian TV channel. I do have a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel? Yeah. And I took liberty of looking at some of the things on that channel. And it appears to me that you collect information for, for what particular purpose. Um, I, I speak to all form, sorts of right. people. I've spoken to Scientologists. I've spoken to Mormons. I've spoken to Christadelphians. I phoned up a Catholic priest at, at Leicester Cathedral because someone complained I'd never spoken to Catholics on my YouTube channel. So am I sort of a secret Catholic? So I phoned up the I phoned up Leicester Cathedral and spoke to a Catholic priest about the central doctrine of the uh, Catholic faith, the claim that the Pope is the successor of Peter. Uh, which I disagreed with, and um, I talked to the priest about that and basically proved him wrong. I've spoken to um, a lot of oneness Pentecostals or apostolics or Jesus only, as they call themselves, because back in the 1980s, I used to be Jesus only. So that would perhaps be my biggest passion um, to speak to oneness Pentecostals. Um, I've spoken to um, various groups, including Sabbath keeping groups, um, strange Pentecostals with um, Sabbath Sabbath beliefs, Yahweh groups. Uh, I've spoken to uh, one Seventh Day Adventist pastor. I didn't um, record the conversations with him, but I I talked to him for three months, and he never asked answered any question in three months. He just kept asking me questions all the time, giving me literature. Um, look, 
the, the issue, George, is that... Are you, you recording this conversation? Are you recording this conversation as well? Yes, of course. Yes. Um, your literature says that Britain and, and America be, are of the devil. Would it, would it be for purpose of putting on your, your YouTube channel? Yeah, sure, sure. I, I, I put all my discussions then, up. In which case, yes, in which case, it's very unfair. You want me to give you notice before I call you. But well, you, you didn't call, you, know you didn't give me any notice. You just called me. Uh, and I was doing something that's else, correct. so I had no no notice you were going to call. So you're the one who's prepared, and that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to edit this in any way. But, you know, your literature says that my country, Britain, and also the United States, are of the devil. That's the Watchtower, 15th of September, 1982, page 17 and 18. Now, you're free to make that claim. You're free to make the claim that the UK and the US are of the devil. But you need to prove that. Saying that to, to you at this moment. No, you're, you're, no, you I, no, your literature you, you, says that. No, no, the no, Watchtower no, literature you, you says want, all governments belong to yeah. Satan. That's what can the Bible teach us, page 33. Right? All yeah, governments guess, belong no, to Satan. No, That's, our, our teaching, our, the fact is, our teaching, um, Robert, is, is not in the dark. It's very clear and open. We preach publicly. Yes, you teach but, that the British know, government. People, and the, you teach that the British people, government and the British crown is of the devil. That's your belief. You believe every government on earth is of Satan. You believe every religion other than the Jehovah's Witness religion is of the devil. Um, if I go to the 1975 um, yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses, page 98, it says Satan has used the Protestants and Catholics to destroy God's remnant. And in, in, in the Awake magazine for the 22nd of April, 1993, page six, the churches of Christendom are called pawns of Satan. Now, you're quite free to make these claims. But you can't prove this. You can't justify this. Now, well, we're, we're not in the business of, of disputing our beliefs. And if you're collect, collecting information... So, you know, so do you uh, believe, uh, George... George, 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 for the purpose of, of your ratings on your channel, then perhaps you, you, you've come to the wrong place because we're not in the business of arguing with folks. We have a simple belief. People don't have to accept our belief. Just like they didn't accept Jesus. No, belief. no, no, but they George, they, George. They didn't, they didn't, Jesus, they didn't kill Jesus for his belief. So, you know, it's, it's up for an individual if they want to understand why we say what we say. We're quite happy to see them on a one-to-one -one basis. But if you want to take it and make it sound more defamatory than, than it is, that's entirely up to you. But perhaps it's, it's quite obvious that, you know, your contact list has run its course and really we can't connect you any further on this line, which is, I mean, yeah, probably. So thank you very much for contacting us anyway. Just one and question before you go. I hope that your search for truth. Just one day George, just one question that. before you I'm go. George, I have just one question before you go. George, I have one question before you go, sir. I'm listening. Yeah. Um in the Watchtower for the first of September nineteen eighty eight, page thirteen, paragraph two, the Watchtower says that Jesus and Lucifer are former angelic brothers. It says that Jesus is the brother of the devil. And that's um repeated in a book uh, uh, about a about hundred years ago called Deliverance, written by Judge Rutherford. In the preface, it says that the three great beings of the universe are Jehovah God and his sons, uh, Jesus Christ and Lucifer, or the Logos, which is Jesus Christ and Lucifer. So those two pieces of Jehovah's Witness literature blasphemously state that Jesus Christ is the brother of the devil. That's not my saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's not the brother of the devil. Well, we're going to leave this to that one, my brother. We're not going to that one with you right now, because, again, you know, we have no chance to fully estimate what you're saying, so we, we cannot really defend that ad hoc like that. But thank you for your interest, and I hope that you will find your satisfaction in your search for the truth. But one thing I say, Robert, yeah. I think it's grossly unfair that you are recording this to use it without our permission, and you would not like that to happen to you. 
someone to take something that you said without your permission and to use it. Um, so we are not happy with that at all. You're not because you are you you were not genuine. You were not genuine. You were false to what you were saying. You were not genuinely seeking to find answers. You were using us to some some means which is false and which isn't good. And I don't. I do not like it. We do not like that. Well, so of course you don't like I it because. No, I say, do not ring us again, do not be in touch with us again, because I w want to have nothing to do with anyone that wants to be devious and wants to be false. Yeah, but you're the people who teach, not me, that the British anyone. government is okay. of the devil. Thank you very much. You're the people Goodbye. who demonise every Christian church, not me.